Hey everybody, Quest 2 update version 40 has been announced. Here is everything rapid fire, much love. This is a quick TLDR of everything you need to know. Way back in version 31, you could set an unlock pattern that would need to be placed each time the headset was used. This was used to get access to the entire headset, but once applied, full access was granted to everything. The new update goes more granular and allows the pattern or new ones behind specific games and apps. This way, if you share your headset with your significant other, they can play Beat Saber instead of what you view to beat your Saber with. Next, with the introduction of 3DS credit payment system, making payments in headset now will be a smidge easier. On our end, the consumer, it's not really a big deal or update. I guess it's less friction, but for developers who opt in to enable this support, well, that just makes it easier for them to make money, which I think is good for the ecosystem as a whole, so good for them. New keyboards have also been added outside Logitech's K830 and Apple Magic Keyboard, which is nice because both of these many times can be sold out. The K830 back in the day was not an easy pickup. New keyboards are the Apple Magic Keyboard with the numeric keypad, Logitech K375S, and Logitech MX Keys. It's getting closer, I guess, to a laptop on your face now. Audio is also getting more accessible. A new mono audio option is coming, taking away the spatial audio and enabling the same audio from both ears simultaneously. Additionally, you can adjust the balance of the left and right channels, which will help people with better hearing in certain ears. Accessibility is good. I think this is good work. Last, end-to-end -end encryption is coming for one-on-one -on -one messages and calls in VR through Messenger. Now, I think that's cool, but I just want to see less Facebook stuff on my headset, so that can go away, thankfully, maybe over time. I don't know. But that's version 40. Now, remember that this update will roll out over time. Some will get this before others, but you can check in your headset under your settings tab if you can manually update or if you get it. I don't think this update is particularly the craziest or biggest update that I've ever seen. It's also interesting that version 40 wasn't a little bit bigger. Typically, when you have these milestone updates, they like to pack a little bit more of a punch. But what can you say? It is a headset that has had 40 updates already, unless I think they did skip some numbers. But either way, it's had quite a bit of updates. We've seen headset functionality tremendously improve over time. It's even got the best hand tracking that I never expected it could possibly pull off. So I'm pretty impressed overall with how the Quest 2 keeps improving. We'll see what happens with version 41. Uh, let me know in the comments what you'd want to see from future updates. If you ask me, I'd like to see some better recording tools. I think almost every single content creator would like some better recording tools and better stability, everything like that. Just keep going, guys. I think it's going well. That's it. See you next time, Space Cowboys. Peace.